So today I'm going to tell you the story of Tahani Ahmed, another Muslim women mathematician. It is important to promote the legacy and the contribution of Muslim women mathematician to inspire other Muslim women uh, that they too can become the next Tahari Amir or next even uh, uh, Maria Mirjakhani. So Tahari Amir was born in 1966 in uh, Cairo, Egypt. Among her siblings, she was the only um, woman in the family who loved fixing the car engine with her father. Among, among all the girls in her family, she was the only female who loved solving the math problem with her father. She got married when she was 17 year old. Uh, it was uh, 1983 actually she got married. So uh, she had to move to the United States with her husband. And soon she had to raise her two children. Uh, so it was very, uh, she was very busy, a very busy mom. Uh, however, she still didn't want to give up her dream. So she managed to find some time to study school. And she started the Old Dominion University in Virginia. And she finished uh, the bachelor degree uh, in engineering. What, um, what most important or inspiring for her was that her experience with the calculus. So when she was taking the calculus one, she could not speak even a single word of English. However, she managed to earn A. And that's kind of inspire her. That's kind of excite her. That's kind of um, motivate her. That you don't need. Uh, you don't need English if you know a higher language and that is the universal language and that is the mathematics. And that's really excited, boost her, motivate her, uh, uh, her enthusiasm uh, went up and she went for masters, masters in aerospace dynamics. And she got the masters in aerospace dynamics in 1994 and got the bachelor in 1992 and she got the job at NASA. She got the job at NASA as an engineer. So she came back, she came back to the old Dominion University to uh, complete her PhD. Once she has the PhD in engineering, she became an executive at NASA. Her re uh, research based on the thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity is a uh, is aspect of physics who, uh, who is uh, uh, talking about how heat transfer from the, the, the hot to the cold. She believes that education is more powerful weapon than anything else. In fact, she believes in education. She believes that education can uh, can break the uh, the barriers uh, of the of the social status and whatnot. Um, so, besides she earning the bachelor degree in 1992 from uh, the Old Dominion University and in 1994 masters in aerospace dynamics in 19 uh, in 2016 um, PhD in the engineering she also on uh, some other degrees from some other prestigious university including uh, a management degree from the University of Pennsylvania uh, UPenn and she also was a fellow at Kennedy School of Harvard University and she got um, another business degree from uh, Villanova University. Uh, so that tells us that you know all you need is education. Education can break the, all the barriers. See, is really what we need, and that is uh, a woman who uh, break double jeopardy. So she is uh, first of all a woman. So uh, there is a stereotype that we believe that society believe that uh, women are bad at math. So she broke that stereotype, and the other stereotype is that she is uh, she is the, she is the lady with, with hijab, uh, Muslim uh, Muslim women, and that she broke that stereotype as well. So she had to br break two stereotypes, and she did. This is why we have to promote her history to inspire other women, Muslim women like her, so that they too can become like her.